Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great morning this morning. I hope that today you have a great Saturday with your family, with yourself. Whatever it is that you do today, just enjoy the day in Christ Jesus, okay? And also, don't forget, like I always say, y'all get ready to go to church tomorrow. And uh, make, make sure you go to, uh, with your family and all of you go as a family and enjoy the day. Go and thank God and worship Him for everything He's done for you and everything He's doing for you and everything He's going to do for you. So just enjoy the day and uh, yes, just 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 have a wonderful day. And uh, I believe you're 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 uh, you know, just gonna have a wonderful day. Period. Okay. I like to read this morning in the book of Philippians, chapter three, verse thirteen and fourteen. I think I've touched this in the past just a little bit, but that's all I get to do anyway with, with just about anything I do every week. And uh, I like to read it, and if you'd like to follow along, uh, do so, okay? It says as follows for Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press... Okay, toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Okay, and it's, this morning I'm, I'm talking just a little bit about moving forward in our lives. Okay, uh, there's a song that was that 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 is sung by uh, Nancy Harmon. She's a great gospel singer, a great songwriter, and uh, she's an older lady now. But I mean, she she has an awesome anointing upon her, and she wrote some. Uh, she wrote a song that's called "I've Come Too Far." Uh, to look back again, okay, and you know, as as Christians, guys, uh, and as the Word of God says this morning, that's what I'm dealing with this morning. It can deal with so many. This verse can deal with so many things, but we're doing dealing with about moving forward, okay. I know there's things in our in our lives that happen, and I know there's things that uh, in our lives that uh, sometimes, and I'm talking to Christians this morning, that that will usually uh, uh, stump us, okay, and, and put a halt to our our forward. Mo uh, Walking with Jesus Christ. Sometimes the devil will come and mess with you, and convince you that that you know that uh, you're not your life's not going to be as great as, as Jesus says or God has said or so, or as, as the Word of God has said, and he'll try to mess with your mind. Okay, telling you that you know when you used to uh, be in the world things were better. And I'll even tell you this: he'll, he'll even tell you that you know when you started out as a Christian things looked pretty good, but now they're not that great anymore. So. What are you doing following God? Okay, but I want us to focus this morning on one thing and one thing only. And that's to move forward in Christ Jesus. Guys, our, our, our lives should never be stale. Okay? And I'm, I'm talking spiritually speaking. Our, our, our lives should never be stale or, or, or to come to a point that, that uh, we don't know what we want in the Lord. Each one of us should know what we want in the Lord. And if you don't, want, if you don't know what you, you, you need in the Lord, what you want in the Lord, why don't you ask him? Okay? Ask God. God will always treat you right. God will always show you. Okay? God will, because God, God's, you know, the Word of God says that we go from glory to glory to glory. So that already tells us that God wants us to go from glory to glory to glory. Okay? To move forward, not, not ever move backward. You know, there's a couple of uh, examples I like to use in the Bible about moving forward. Okay? Because that, that our Christian walk should be a life of moving forward. Okay? Uh, so Moses, you know, we know the story of Moses. They came to the Red Sea. That all the all the uh, Hebrews came to the Red Sea and they stood there, and uh, they didn't, you know, they had no way to cross the Red Sea. Okay, they 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 they, they didn't know how to come move forward because some, there was an obstacle in the way. And and I'll be honest with you, there's there's always going to be obstacles in our lives in our Christian walk with God. There's always going to be obstacles. How you handle them will determine what kind of individual you are in the Lord, okay? Are you the, the, the kind that quits when you see an obstacle? Are you the kind that, that just stalls? Are you the kind are you the kind that moves forward? Okay, our, our our Christian walk with God should always be a movement of forward, okay? So Moses, they came to the Red Sea, and what did God tell Moses? I mean, you know, let's make a long story short, a beautiful story short. Uh, you know, God told Moses, Moses, hey, don't panic. It's just a sea. You know, he's a creator, okay? So to him, a sea is just a sea, okay? A problem is just a problem. Uh, he'll, he'll take care of things like that. So he, all, all he told Moses was, hey, just lift up your rod, point it to the sea, and the, the, the sea, when he, Moses did exactly what God told him, you know, we know the story, the sea opened, okay? 
people walked across and they walked across on dry ground. Never forget that. These guys walked on dry ground. And so this obstacle that was in the way of the Hebrews uh, was removed, you know, because some of them were already complaining to Moses, well, why'd you take us out of Egypt? You know, we had it made in the shade over there, to use an expression. And of course, we know, if you've read the story, you know, they never had it made in the shade. They were, they were just barely getting by because they were slaves, okay? They were slaves. And when you're in the world, you're a slave. And if you as a Christian are living in the past, you're a slave to your past. And God doesn't want you there. He wants you to move forward. Okay, Jesus paid a price so that you could move forward. The next story is David and Goliath. You know that story good and well. You know, that the, the Israeli army, the Hebrew army, was uh, faced with Goliath and the Philistines. And, of course, the, Philist, uh, the Philistines looked so, so, they looked like they had a huge army, a, a, a big giant in front of them. And they looked at it and, you know, even Saul, they looked at it and said, hey, we're never going to beat these people. We're never going to be able to go on about with our lives as long as these people are in the way. So they never had, they, they, they weren't doing nothing. They they had stalled right there, okay, hiding behind rocks. And, of course, David shows up. And what does David, uh, what does David do? What does God do with David? Well, he uses David, uh, a teenager, to destroy a giant. Another obstacle was moved. See, God will take care of any obstacle because God wants us to move what? Forward, not backward, okay? or to stall, okay, in our Christian walk with him. Another story is the story of Hezekiah and Sennacherib, uh, the Assyrian king. And they came to where Hezekiah was and told Hezekiah, you know, we're going to destroy you, this, that, and the other. You're never, you're, you're never going to know peace again. And, and of course, Hezekiah and, his, and, 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 and uh, the Hebrews, were, well, they were hiding behind the walls of the city. And they said, I don't know how we're going to get out of this. But, you know, Hezekiah went to the, went to the prophet and Isaiah told him this, that, and the other. And, and, uh, God told, told, told Hezekiah, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of this problem. So he took care of the problem, okay? So he removed uh, Sennacherib from the land. As a matter of fact, he died. And uh, so, uh, you know, they went about their business. They started to move forward again. You can't stay stalled. They were stalled. They, 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 they had come to a standstill behind their walls. They couldn't do nothing, okay? But when God removed, removed this evil king, they went about their business. They started to move forward again. And that's what our life in Christ should be, moving forward, okay? The last story that I have is, of course, the story of Joshua, and there's several stories, but Joshua and the walls of Jericho. Children of Israel came up against the wall, against Jericho, and they saw that they couldn't overtake the, the, the city because, I mean, how can you climb these walls? I mean, they were fortified and fortified well, and as long as Jericho was in the way, they'd never have peace because they, they weren't going to be able to move forward and, 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 and do the things they needed to do. But you know what? God told Joshua, you do, you follow the instructions I'm going to give you, and those walls are going to come down. And as long as we follow God's instructions, guys, okay, the walls in our path will always fall down. But listen to God, hear from God, ask God to help you. Okay, so I want you just to understand that this morning. You know, as Christians, whether you've served God one year or five or 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years, you know, if you're walking with Christ, stay anchored in Christ, okay? Our business is always to move forward as Christians, okay? Never to look back, never to turn back, because there's nothing in the past. Yesterday was great, but it's gone, okay? We're living for today, and tomorrow, it, it, it isn't here, but we're hoping that we can just keep on moving from glory to glory to glory, okay? So I'll tell you what some uh, a phrase that I, that I like to use, okay? And that I've heard other people use. Okay, as Christians, guys, the best is not behind us, Okay? But the best is in front of us. It's in front of me. It's in front of you. And I want you to realize that this morning. I want you to understand that this morning. Now, I don't care what you're going through. God will take care of that. Those walls. Those giants. Those red seas. Okay. Those 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 problems that may get in your way. He'll remove them. Because he wants you moving forward. From glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. On and on and on and on. and on, Okay. And again, the, the, the verse says, Brethren, I can't now myself to have it apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, forget those things, God, yesterday gone, uh, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Hey, look forward to the things that are coming your way. The best is yet to come for you. And I don't care what age you are, okay? I'd like this morning just to uh, lead us in a word of, of, of uh, prayer for, uh, you know, the sinner's prayer of those that need salvation. So join with me, okay? Pray for those that need Christ. And I hope somebody that doesn't know Christ is listening this morning. Give your heart to the Lord and let God be God in your life. 
Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I come to you as a sinner that knows that you can and will forgive me my sins. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died for me on the cross. Please come into my heart today. Cleanse me from my sins. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you are my Savior and Lord. Amen and amen. Congratulations are in order. You found the answer. You found the Lord. There's a new name written down in glory. And I tell you what, this life is going to get sweeter and sweeter for you. Because, you know, you have Jesus Christ in your heart and you have something to look forward to, okay? Uh, my name is Peter Flores, P.O. Box 2483, Health for Texas, 79045. That's my mailing address. Uh, we, Of course, we, have all, we also have a Venmo account for those of, of you that want to support or repair the roof fund. And uh, it's New Vision Ministries, New Vision Dash Ministries, okay? So, uh, yeah, y'all have a great day today. Enjoy the day. And, you know, the Lord uh, bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his cows upon you and give you peace. And the people of God said amen and amen, guys. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.